Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Hi, I'm Linda watson Kong. I'm so glad you're joining me for today's episode of Dragonfly Soup. What do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? A person with a successful career? Someone who isn't sure of herself? A great, fun-loving person? A guy with a limited future? Do you even look at yourself in the mirror? How we act, what we get out of life, whether we achieve our goals or not, really depends on how we see ourselves. Young children, babies, see themselves in the mirror and they laugh. I'm not sure if they think they're funny or if they're laughing because they're happy to see themselves and they like how they look when they laugh. Then, somewhere around five or six, that mirror becomes the enemy. We're told, your face is dirty. Go see how you look in the mirror and clean yourself up. Your hair is messy. Did you see yourself in the mirror this morning? Go brush it again. That mirror that used to delight us when we would make faces at ourselves and laugh now shows us our shortcomings. We no longer look cute or funny. We look for the dirt, the messy hair. We no longer make funny faces at ourselves. Or if we do make faces, they're more like ugly faces. As a teenager, that mirror becomes very important. We stare at it looking to see if there's any new zits. Never mind that all our friends have them. We just want to make sure we're not getting any more. And as adults, we see ourselves in the mirror and think we're too fat, too thin, too old, not old enough. We look at ourselves and wonder, will we ever be lovable? Or are we loving too much? It seems we're never satisfied with ourselves. But what if we use that mirror to bolster our self-esteem? What if we use that mirror and some affirmations or visualizations to get in touch with our inner self and create a more positive, beautiful picture of ourselves? So let's start with our physical qualities. Okay, so you're 20 pounds overweight. We can deal with that later. Look at yourself closely. Find one quality, one positive quality that really stands out. Your deep blue eyes your black hair, your muscular build. Whatever that one quality is, focus on it in a positive light. Now use it as an affirmation about yourself. My eyes are as blue as the ocean and just as beautiful. I feel like Snow White with my jet black hair. My muscular build is a tribute to the hours I spend working out. Just saying your affirmation every morning will set your tone for a better day. Now, if you feel uncomfortable saying these affirmations in the first person, then imagine someone else is talking to you. Susan, you have the most beautiful blue eyes that I've ever seen. Gloria, your jet black hair is so attractive. George, you must really work out to be so muscular. Once you have practiced these affirmations for a while, start focusing on your goals. What do you want to achieve? Then, see yourself as if you're already achieving that goal and create new affirmations that reflect your success. Now remember, affirmations must be positive. So say, I feel so healthy weighing 150 pounds. Don't use words like lost. I feel healthy now that I've lost 50 pounds. Trust me, if you say lost, the universe will find those 50 pounds and give them back to you. Or you might say, everything good is coming to me as I accept my position as the manager of this department. Another thing you could say is, I'm a great student. I study every night and ace all my tests. Coco Chanel, a French designer and businesswoman, once said, Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. So be yourself by accepting yourself. Look in that mirror and see yourself for who you really are. See your beauty within, 
and you will express it with your actions. Affirm everything you do, and above all, love and accept yourself completely as you are. You don't have to please everyone. You only have to please yourself, and you are the only one that really counts. Do you have a favorite affirmation that gets you through times when you're unsure of yourself? Please share it in the comments or in a private message. Be sure to click like for this week's episode, and while you're at it, share it with your friends. You might also want to check out our new gift shop, where you can purchase items like this Dragonfly Suit t-shirt or other gifts. The link is below. And I'll see you next week, right here on Dragonfly Soup. Here's to our transformation and our best year ever.